Hello, cruel world. It's Jaddy Dad One coming at you today. <laughs> no, not everybody's cruel. Um, this is kind of a uh, poor man's club report. Um, I did a video uh, yesterday about my cat. And oh, by the way, my razor. I went ahead and put a new one in her. And I think that made eight months that I had just from drying off, drying off the blade after I used it. You know, of course, using cold water to rinse it off and um, keep the blade, you know, the, the steel tight. But, um, you know, it shaved a little bit better, but I mean, the old one was still going good kind of wanted to put a new one in I had <laughs> my wife got me a pack of new razors or new blades that is and I hadn't used them hadn't taken one out or used them for a couple of months now and she kept on asking me um, if I had been buying razors and all and I went ahead and told her what I was doing and I don't know why she doesn't try that with her um, razor in the shower for her legs but she, you know she <laughs> I guess likes to use them and throw them out, and uh, but whatever. But anyways, um, but it's worked really good. Eight months, I think it's been like eight months. You can go back and, and take a look at my other video of it. Just by uh, you know drying off the drying off the blade. Um, you know, don't go. Well, you know how. Don't go against the blade. Go with the blade and dry it off. And toilet paper works good to soak up the water and you know knock it off a few times and blow on it. But anyway, back to what I was getting at: the sugar bandage. The sugar bandage is a excellent, excellent thing I've found. Um, been doing a little bit more looking into it. I know that it worked good for my cat. Um, the next time I get a wound, I'm going to use it on it. But um, what what the vet was telling me is that the sugar provides major nutrients to the wounded flesh there. Usually that flesh um, scabs over and takes half of the stuff with it as dead skin and dead tissue. Okay. What the sugar bandage does is covers the wound with sugar, or you use honey. Honey is really, really better than sugar as a uh, antiseptic and an antifungal. If you'll ever notice, take you some honey. Um, leave it out in the open. You don't have to store honey in the refrigerator. It does not get mold on it. If you have honey that's got mold growing on it, that's from something that is in the honey that's on the side or something. I've never seen honey with mold growing over it. Now this imitation honey might might be that way, but real honey, I have never, ever seen real honey um, go bad. I've seen it to where it has turned into crystals because it's been there so long, um, but you can heat it up and it will turn back into liquid honey again. But um, it has major antifungal and anti um, antiseptic properties to it. It wards off infection. I didn't have to give my cat, but I think he gave him a dose of antibiotics at the vet there, and, and he didn't have anything else besides the sugar bandage. But make sure when you go to change the bandage, make sure you get that bandage wet. Make sure that it's wet and it stays wet and moist for about five or ten minutes so that it can make the sugar soft and all because it's going to turn into like a candy like crust but my cat's tail is healed pretty good I mean you know he's still got the wound on there and it's still scabbed and I'm not putting sugar on it anymore it's got a good scab over it and um He's now able to pick up his tail a little bit and move it, so I'm having hopes that he'll be able to flick and swish his tail once again. Um, 
but it really does work. And the vet told me that they're starting to use it more in humans too, in people, um, for wounded areas. I mean, and this is an old, old remedy, hundreds of years old, probably thousands of years. I mean, there's uh, a lot of good old remedies that work that, you know, people just don't know about. But, I mean, that, you know, the vets said, how much, you know, how much money can you afford to spend on the cat? And I said, well, I got like 80 bucks, you know. And he said, okay, well, this is what we can do, this, this, and this. And I said... Well, I'm going to be forced to do this. I mean, I love my animals. But you have got to put priorities first. If you can't pay your electric bill or postpone it even, or you can't put food on your table, you cannot spend extra money on x-rays and putting them in the hospital and putting them to sleep to have a, a wound cleaned out and sutured up. I mean, some people are, uh, they don't have their priorities right. And, you know, I've known people to rack up thousands of dollars, up to almost $10,000 on, on taking care of an animal. Um, surgeries, this and that, and, you know, You've got to get to a point where, I mean, if you've got the money, hey, that's that's great. If I had the money to spend, um, I would have said, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, let's go ahead and do all this stuff and let's keep him in the hospital um, for a couple days and let's, you know, do this. It would have cost four or $500, but, uh, you know, I don't think the outcome would have been any different than it is right now. That's my point. Um, the vet had told me that he had been surprised at the success of the sugar bandage. He said one lady had a dog that had such a terrible wound on its leg, on its upper thigh there. He said that he thought he was going to have to amputate the leg. He said, but within a month, the, the wound had closed itself up and scarred over, you know, and, and uh, scabbed over. And he said the last time that he saw it was a month after the lady had come in there. And he had, it had like about a quarter sized uh, scab on it that was left. And that was it. So it really works good. Um, I know that it does. I've seen the effects of it. And colloidal silver works really good, too. Um, you can't beat it. I've seen it cure pink eye. I've seen it cure strep throat. I've seen it cure so many things that's, um, you know, bad infections um, associated with a sore or with a wound. Um, and note this, I am not a medical profession or a doctor or anything of that nature. Okay. I am certified first aid, CPR, and all that kind of stuff by the Red Cross, but I am not a doctor or a professional medical profession. I'm just telling you what I know works and what I know has helped me and my friends and my family and those that has used this uh, procedures and, and done these things. Um. <laughs> I seen a video the other day where the the uh, something about Nibiru or something being able to be seen and and the first of the video had a bunch of people walking up in the mountains and it just stayed on that and, and stayed silent for the whole video and I you know I wrote yep the uh, the tube poo poo monster come and hit you and <laughs> silented the video and put the first two seconds of the video through the whole thing and made that the whole entire video with no noise, no sound. And, uh, and I've seen them continue to do that with others. And um, the other one, the sugar bandage one that I did the other day, uh, they cut the sound out, was like, 
chick, 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 and you could hear some words and other words. You couldn't. And, you know, that they was fooling with it. But, uh, that's okay. I'm just going to do this one. Um, go back and read. You know, put it on mute so you don't have to put up with that sound. But go back and read that um, article that I had on there. The military uses the sugar bandage and all. Um, so it works really good and it's really, really inexpensive. Just like I said, make sure and change the bandage every day. Make sure, absolutely make sure you put water on it when you change that bandage. And if you have an animal, don't use don't use this kind of tape that's sticky. Um, use that stuff that sticks to itself but doesn't stick to skin and hair and fur because you could cause the wound to tear open. Um, you know, wrap it with one of those things. You know, if you get blood taken, they'll wrap you up. And when you take the bandage off, it doesn't pull your skin or hair off. You know, it doesn't hurt. Use that. That's that's worked really good. Um, but yeah, it, it works great. Um, um, I was noticing another thing I wanted to kind of show you. The uh, I was looking at this thing here the other day, and it seemed to me like all these things um, here, right there, is like a shooting star type deal or maybe a comet I don't know what do y'all think because they're all they're all over this thing and that's got a bunch of dots and that means something but the guy in the middle I don't know if that's his tongue hanging out or what Or it's a goatee. I don't know what that is. But he's got the three dots on his forehead. And, um. Let's see. Let's turn it upside down. See what it looks like there. Huh. There's the pyramid. That looks like two guys. Talking to each other. Or throwing up. One of the two. Oh, that's weird. If any anybody sees anything else, let me know. I think this stuff is pretty neat. But yeah, you can see the two guys on the bottom. I don't know if them lines are their shoulders or if they're spitting stuff out of their mouths or they're throwing up, but <laughs> they look like they got some kind of big hats on or else they're elongated skulls with big ear things on that could be an elongated skull and you know the one guy he looks like a totally different he looks different than the other guy the other guys the one almost looks like it could be an alien gray the other guy's more of got a more of a nose and stuff like that and the other is way different looking But uh, kind of cool. I'm kind of checking it out. Let y'all check it out with me. I was just looking at it, and uh, let's see how many there is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's thirteen. Thirteen dots underneath this guy's chin. Thirteen dots underneath his chin. Interesting. Interesting number. Anyways, um, try the sugar bandage. It works good.
Um, hope everybody's doing well and hope you're prepping, getting everything you need ready for when uh, the day comes that you need to run on. Anyway, this is Chatty Dad 1. God bless and good luck. Over and out.